Okay, so in our previous session, we have seen that some of the modification tools in Ansys Design Modular. In this video, we will see the remaining tools like uh, cut, copy, paste, move, replicate, and duplicate, offset, and spline edit tools. So for that, uh, I have existing sketch and go to model and select the sketch and say right click, delete. So the sketch in the uh, screen will be deleted and select the plane and say new sketch. Go to sketching tab and uh, first I need to draw a circle. So why because uh, I need to cut this circle to an another place. So go to modify. I have an option cut. So which entities you need to cut. So select the particular entities and right click set and uh, end set paste handle you have an option you have three different options we will see that what are the options will work so first we will see that uh, end set paste handle option so say my cursor will be turned into a, a pointer option and i can say uh, this is my reference point so by using that particular point i can drag the uh, whole component so whenever whatever the place i need i can uh, paste over there so I need to paste the, from here to here so I can paste and say escape so that particular component is uh, cut and pasted over here so from here to here so you can use this cut option to drag your uh, particular geometry to uh, one place to another place okay fine the next option is called copy we want to copy this uh, entities just select this option and right click and say end set paste handle and I need to from this is my reference point I can copy here so whatever the copies you need you can uh, make over the copy so here here and here so if your operation is ended just plus uh, press escape so to escape from the particular option okay and that is all about uh, cut copy and paste option and what is move the move is similar to that cut option so i can move the particular object from one end to another end so how it actually works move so this is my option uh, entities to move right click and say end paste this is my reference point so i can move from here to here and say escape fine and uh, we have an option called replicate and duplicate so both options are works uh, similar to each other so <clears throat> we use replicate so how to use a replicate in sketch entities we don't have any patterns option so patterns or mirrors we don't have that search options so how to use that patterns and mirrors options using a replicate command so we will see uh, before that i need to clear the sketch so go to modeling and select the sketch right click and say delete yes i want to delete the entire sketches after that sketching mm, i need to draw a circle from the center point to over here so i have drawn a own circle after that i need another circle on this point okay so i need to pattern the small circle in a circular way circular way uh in the uh, bigger circle so inside the bigger circle so how to uh, how can i do this so go to modify i have an option called uh, replicate so just select the entities so here you have an option called r is equal to 90 degree and uh, f is equal to 2 so we will discuss about this option right now uh, i can change the value to 45 degree so what is that r degree uh, 45 degrees uh, defaultly set out so I just select this entity and right click set uh, or end set paste handle. So this is my reference point and uh, right click you have a different types of options over here rotate by R degree rotate by minus R degree. So R degree means that selected entities will be rotated by whatever the R degree I have selected over here. So if I say uh, 90 degree that object will be rotated in 90 degree. So right now it is in 45. So if I say rotate by R degree this selected objects will be rotated in 45 degree angle so right click and say if you want to flip the uh, or uh, mirror that particular uh, entity uh, about and horizontal so that will be 
mirrored so if you want to mirror it in vertical so that will be mirrored so again horizontal okay rotate by r degree and uh, rotate by r degree and rotate by r degree and flip by vertical or uh, horizontal okay now i have created a circular pattern by using a replicate command and uh, whatever the angle you need uh, if you need a 30 degree you can use 30 degree or 15 degree whatever it is you can use over here so the similarly the duplicate option is also uh, work like this uh, if you want you can use the duplicate option also and uh, we will see that what is that offset option how an offset options will works so just click the offset what are the uh, entities you need to offset so i need to offset the circle so i just selected and right click so if you want to clear the selection you can say clear selection or else place, uh, place offset or end selection offset select so this is my first point and second point third fourth fifth seven so how many offsets you need you can select it from the uh, entities so after that all you need is you just need to click escape so the particular circle will be offset to a particular distance uh, whatever the distance you have given over here so that will be applied over there so if you want to delete the whole entities so all you need is uh, just place over the cursor over here the selected entities will be defaultly deleted so after that after you select the all the entities just click on delete so that entities will be deleted so not only the circle so whenever you have a, a rectangle so you can offset the rectangle also and uh, modify i want to offset this particular line segment so go to offset so this is my line and say uh, from here or here you can place the offset distance over okay so how many offset you can say uh, you can click multiple points to create a multiple offsets okay fine hope you will understand the offset option and next we have an option called spline edit so spline edit tool is specially made for simplified polylines so for that uh, i need a polyline i mean sp line so go to spline option and select again draw a spline so which is a open ender and uh, right click and say open end a spline will be i have a spline over here so if you want to control the uh, curvature or change the shapes i can use a modify tools and spline edit tools we say spline edits so it prompts you to select the particular spline which you want to edit so this is my spline so if i click the particular uh, spline so it shows me a multiple points this point is nothing but the control vertex of the uh, spline so you can easily change the control vertexes so by changing the control vertexes you can adjust the curvature of the spline you have actually drawn see the entire curvature will be easily uh, so if you want to add additional control points or else you want to change the control points uh, you can change by using the edit option so this is called spline edit option okay so we have covered all the remaining tools in modification so that is all for this video and in our next session we will see about the dimension option in design modular hope you will like the video and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and see you on next video